What's going on guys? Welcome back. So this is actually the second video I'm recording today. And if you didn't see the last video, I teach you how to speed ramp. This video is actually going to just be teaching you how to do the crash zoom effect. The speed ramp will already be applied. If you want to learn how to speed ramp, you can check out this video in the corner. I believe it's this corner, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, definitely this corner. <laughs> you can check out that video in the corner and I will, you know, teach you how to speed ramp. This video, like I said, is just a crash zoom. You know, it's not necessarily the method you would think. A lot of people just use a transform panel and just, you know, punch in and then call it a day. But this one is going to have motion blur. So it's a little more dramatic and it's a very cool effect I've, I mean as you can see I'll play it right now how I've achieved it in the past I just think it's a really cool effect So as you can tell, it crash zoomed really quickly and there was motion blur. There was a little shake. I can show you how to add the shake if you want to. I don't always add the shake. I just add it to the video when I feel like it's necessary or like it could add a little bit more oomph to the video. Again, do with it as you please. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so here's what the clip's gonna look like with just a speed ramp. I have it eased in and out. If you wanna learn how to do it, like I said, go ahead and watch that video. All right, so now that I have my speed ramp and everything applied, you can see it right here. I have it eased in and out. We're actually gonna be using an effect from the open effects filters. So we'll what we need to do is find the transform filter and that is going to be right here. Just click it and drag it onto your clip. So personally, I like to go about two frames before the speed ramp hits. So I'll go about right there. And as you can tell, it pops up in the inspector panel, the open effects tab, transform, you know, editing section. So I usually click the position, position and zoom just because I sometimes tweak the position if they're not centered properly. So again, this is up to you. It, you don't have to do it this way. Now there are other ways to manipulate the transform tool with like sliders, interactive canvas and pins, but I don't really use those. So we're just gonna go based off of sliders. Now now that we have our endpoint there, I like to go over to our next out point and it's going to probably be like a frame or two in from the speed ramp. So let's go ahead and just do two. And now this will be where our crash zoom happens. So let's just go ahead and zoom in and then we can just adjust where she is a little bit. Don't forget what your axes are. And if you want to, you know, learn how to position it centered, just click option A and it gives you this little magical box. If that's not the key bind, then I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is in general. But that's what I have it as. It gives you a little centered like arrow. So that's what I use to center up my, you know, clips. And so that's good enough in my opinion. So now that we play it back, it's it's very smooth in my opinion, but it could be better. So we're gonna go ahead and end it about right there. So go add, you know, the other three speed point or not speed points, key points, go over to the last, you know, two frames after the end of the speed ramp and add two more key frames, not key points. Then we can just go ahead and reset these to zero and then put this back to, I believe it's just one because zero is not right for zoom. Cause if I go to zero, we're going to have that. So now we play it back. It goes zooms in, zooms out. And that's cool, that, that works. Like if I really wanted to, I could just use that because like I said, it works. But if you want to add that motion blur, just go over to animation and then you have a motion blur slider. I usually kind of crank it because I like the intense motion blur. So let's go about 69, seven and just see what that looks like. Oh, there we go, let's play it back one more time. Oh yeah, it just looks a lot better. Maybe we just crank it up all the way to be honest. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So as you can tell, there's a lot of motion blur. We can go up to where it's slowed down. And you can tell like the motion blur happens right here in the crash zoom. So without it, it's going to look like this with it. It's going to look like that. So I, I, I feel like that works pretty fine. Now that we have our crash zoom done, we can add camera shake. So just go ahead and search up camera shake in the top corner and then you can click and drag it down onto your clip. Now keep in mind it's adding camera shake to the entire clip. So you're going to want to adjust that accordingly. So I don't really want the camera shake to happen until the speed ramp happens. So I can go down to my two frames like I did before. And I can add, you know, all these low key frames, add this down to zero, this down to zero. And now we won't have any extra shake that we don't want. So go back to it. That's going to be the first keyframe. Go back to the second keyframe where I had before. And then I'm going to add my motion blur or not motion blur, camera shake. So now we can add camera shake right there, back there. And we can add a little motion blur if we want to. So this is what it'll look like crashing in. It shakes a little bit. But um, let's go ahead and add our center points again. Actually, let's just undo that real quick. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit more intense just to kind of exaggerate it, exaggerate it for the video. And then we can go back to here and unclick that and then click it again to reset it. And now that we have that, we can go two frames after our speed ramp again and then just reset that back to zero and we should be good. So now that when we play it back, you can tell that it adds a little camera shake to the video. And if you wanna see it without it, we can just turn it off. And here's what without the camera shake, it works either way. Again, it's personal you know, preference. You can do it with or without it. I like it with it depending on clips. Like that was a little too still in my opinion. I could also do it just still with the slow-mo. So it's 
always up to you <laughs> whatever you want to do i hope this video helped you out again i didn't go too in depth with the camera shake because there's so many different sliders that you can do you can change the quality of it you can change the level of it the amplitude for what it is for something like this i feel like the standard you know settings are fine except like the scale you can obviously adjust the scale of, of when you want it to start and stop but everything else in my opinion works fine but do what you please add more add less do whatever you want but yeah i hope this video helped you out i have another video coming out soon probably i'm pretty sure i shot it by the time i should be back from this trip by the time this video is out but if i not then i guess i didn't shoot it but i am planning on doing uh what i travel with camera gear like type video and i hope you all enjoyed that because i kind of like the gear videos they do pretty good on my channel for the most part and especially like the review channel uh videos like the suction cup one that did very good i was debating on doing an updated video on it but i haven't really used the suction cup much since like that video because i just haven't had any need for it other than when i'm like vlogging in the car and even then like it's just setting up the camera it's nothing crazy works fine for what i need so yeah if you want to check out the gear that i use it's all in the link down below obviously it's an amazon link it's commission so it helps me out a little bit you know put everything back to the channel made some money from y'all appreciate it definitely helps buy new gear i did buy a sony a7 5 a7 r5 sorry it seems like it's a good camera i haven't really used it much i'm going to be taking it on this trip to arkansas that i'm going to be going on so i'm going to be using it a little bit there might post some pictures on instagram maybe if i like them if not then they're not getting posted because i never post photos or anything on my instagram anymore but i do post all my content i do post my adventures that i go on with these travel trips and everything you know updated wise is going to be on instagram so if you want to check out the instagram see when i'm uploading videos if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe just do all that it helps me out helps grow this channel and i feel like i've been doing relatively decent being consistent wise uh it's been eight days since the last video i just recorded earlier has been uploaded so i need to work on that video these two videos are getting knocked out real quick but i hope you all enjoyed the video and comment if you have any more tutorial questions down below and i'll get to those yeah hope you enjoyed i'll catch you later bye